Hello, everyone joining. Well, uh, we are just getting started. We're going to give it a couple minutes as folks join uh, today's webinar. Um, so sit tight and get ready for an interesting webinar today. Uh, yeah, today's meeting uh, webinar will also be recorded and shared out. So no worries if anyone has calls to make, uh, we will send a link to the recording within the next couple of days. Uh, so we'll just give it a couple more minutes as folks continue to join and then we will get started. Um, so today we'll be covering a short introduction and overview of issue, um, as well as some kind of tips and tricks that we'll suggest. And then we'll be as well doing a uh, short demonstration of some of the issue products. So uh, we will give it one more minute and then we'll get started. But thank you again all for joining today. So uh, as folks continue to join, just a couple housekeeping details for everyone. Uh, thanks all again for joining. Uh, just some notes, all participants today will be muted throughout the duration of the presentation, just to ensure the best audio quality for everyone. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to submit any questions using the Q&A uh, portion over in the bottom where you can see it's kind of circled. Uh, you can submit any questions you may have. Uh, today, we typically get quite a few questions. So I'll try to focus on uh, questions, particularly around um, any like strategy, tips or tricks. And we'll also be collecting those questions and um, following up with a kind of uh, FAQ as well for some of the repeat questions that we find or some of the more technical questions that we might be asked. And finally, we'll be recording today's webinar and we will share the link in our follow-up. This way you can listen to it again or share it with others who might be interested. Um, additionally, if you uh, have any questions again, you can ask them in the Q&A and uh, we'll be following up with a few bonus materials as well as um, some special uh, offerings at the end if you stay all the way to the end today. Um, and let me just take a look. All right, looks like we are ready to get started. So um, a little bit about me today. My name is Megan Cole. I'm a marketing manager at Issue. Uh, so I am located out in Chicago, Illinois, and I am really excited to be doing today's presentation and demonstrations. Um, so to start, just a quick poll just to get everybody thinking and to get so I have a better understanding of uh, how everyone 
is in terms of their familiarity. We'd love to know how you currently use Issue. So I've currently launched a poll um, that you can answer for the multiple choice. Um, so we'll keep that running for a little bit of time. This will just really help uh, me get an idea of how everyone is using Issue and what topics to cover today as part of the webinar on how to generate content um, or generate revenue with Issue content. So we'll keep that running for a little bit longer as folks answer. I see the chat, the hellos from the chat. Good to see everyone today. Uh, yep, um, I see a comment on defining the poll options. Uh, so just to how you currently use issue kind of focused on which ways you use um, any of the content that you post on issue or any of the uh, features that we have. So um, feel free to answer these to the best of your abilities and based on your kind of familiarity with the product as well. Uh, so social posts would be using our social sharing tools, flipbooks being kind of the uh, main flipbook uh, PDF reader, statistics is the analytics side, embedding content being embedding your flipbook content onto any websites, full screen sharing is our full screen reader version, um, and other is any other tools that you might use from issue. Um, and lastly, I don't currently use issue. Um, so looks like we are just about, yep, happy to help. Um, so I will end the poll now. Thanks all for answering. Um, and one last question before we get started. Just would love to get an idea of what your goals are today in joining the webinar. Um, so why have you joined today? Um, whether it is learning more about leveraging eBooks, uh, digital sales, or a little bit about holiday gift guides um, and our kind of catalog services. Uh, so I'll leave this one open for just a little bit and then we can get started. Okay, and thank you all again for answering the poll questions. Those are gonna be really helpful for me today. Um, a little bit about us and our mission here at Issue. Um, we are, um, our goal and mission here is to enable anyone from independent creators to global brands to create, share, measure, and monetize their digital content. Um, I think now more than ever, as we all know, there are a lot of opportunities within the digital space and we want to make sure that we help provide solutions and uh, services for our uh, users and creators on the issue platform. So we're really excited today to be doing the demo on how to generate uh, income and make uh, monetized, monetizable content on issue as well. So a little bit um, of an overview of how we see this strategy. It 
looks complex, but I promise it isn't, um, essentially is taking that opportunity to publish your content directly to issue, whether it is a PDF or document um, or other file type, any content that you might have, um, you can publish it, upload it to issue. Uh, we also give you the opportunity to generate different derivatives of that content that you've uploaded, uh, including our stories or social media tools, as well as the ability to share those content pieces for any promotional purposes you might uh, want to use. And lastly, the ability to measure the impact of those um, shared contents that you have published to see the results and the engagement, which can also help inform what you want to do with your content moving forward as well. Um, so in today's webinar, we'll be covering a few of the issue tips on best ways to use issue this holiday season and beyond. Um, we'll be doing an overview of the e-commerce gift guides and tips and ways that you can use some of your content and um, use it digitally as well uh, during the holiday season. And uh, then we'll also be doing a demonstration and more um, kind of in-depth view of digital sales and some of the kind of best practices and um, idea starters for digital sales content uh, followed by a demo. And then lastly, we'll be doing a Q&A portion to answer any questions. Um, and that will be today's session. Um, so just to start a little bit of um, details about the opportunities on holiday gift guides. Um, one of the first kind of opportunities that we see with issues content is the ability to connect your brand with um, different affiliated content. It's a really great way um, if you're as a content creator to showcase your partnerships in meaningful ways, whether it is with um, other brands or creating materials that you can then use for any media partnerships. Uh, you can also use Issue to share really nice branded content to add value to your brand for sponsors, um, affiliate linking opportunities and video opportunities. We also, um, kind of loop these strategies in with the holiday gift guide uh, model. So I have an example here of um, particularly a catalog today from uh, Pampered Chef. So they have created, and I'm gonna switch to full screen mode. Um, so in the Pampered Chef's kind of holiday gift guide for 2020, they made sure to really kind of feature some of their products as well as use the detected links feature on issue to take these materials, which may have originally been intended for mailing purposes um, or for uh, print materials and add enhanced links that can drive you directly to any of your content. Um, so you can really help guide direct sales um, with an immersive experience as well on issue. Um, other ways that you can use this feature as well, not only can it be hosted on issue.com, but you can also embed this content um, on your website directly, which would really allow you to take your content and um, feature it anywhere. So if you have your uh, digital content, you can use the issue embed tool. And uh, let me just pull up an example of what that looks like um, from our issue blog, for example. Uh, so with the issue embed tool, you can very easily take any of your content and embed it directly into a blog or web page uh, with super easy kind of copy and paste features. From there, you can also use these embedded pieces um, to drive any sales that you might have or to really add a little bit more interaction in your content. Um, so some ways that we really suggest using that for uh, sales is adding some of those direct links again. You can add as many links as you'd like into these pages. Um, so you can really link it to any of your content as well as add any like tracking parameters that you might want. Uh, so you can associate these with directly um, to your sales and content, um, or you can use it from a, uh, feature af affiliate feature um, example. So here I'll pull up another example, 
more from the editorial content space um, with Sweet Paul um, magazine. So uh, in addition to using digital sales, um, they'll often use these kind of uh, features and partnerships with branded uh, deals to help kind of add some more additional like revenue streams for the users. Um, and some of the other materials that we have as well include um, a few free templates that we have available to download in our help center. Um, so if you want to create more content or new content, we also have downloadable templates that you can use in uh, both Microsoft Word as well as Adobe InDesign um, to create some really nice engaging pieces as well. Um, so that is a very quick overview of some of our holiday gift guide tips this uh, season. And Going a little bit deeper, um, the second opportunity that we're going to cover um, a bit more in depth today based on the uh, responses is digital sales with issue. So uh, with digital sales, we are really proud to have announced um, that we are 100% commission free for digital sales. Um, at issue, we suspended revenue sharing on the sale of any digital publications um, during the pandemic, kind of at the start of the pandemic. Um, and while that was originally meant to be kind of a temporary uh, commission-free option, we never turned the revenue sharing back on because we found that from March and uh, through September, the sales of digital publication units on issue have been um, up by over 800%. Uh, so we have a lot of new content creators who are successfully selling publications on issue um, and the combined revenue has been um, for publishers selling uh, via issue has been up over 363%, I believe. Um, so we have seen this as a really great opportunity to help empower creators and um, help create solutions for folks who are trying to publish their content online as well as make it available for uh, digital sales. So um, a few tips on ways if you um, are taking your content and um, selling it with digital sales, you can very easily use issue to repurpose any ready-made content that you have uh, as long as they are the digital file types such as a PDF or Word document or any other um, type of document that you may have. We suggest using PDF content, um, but you can use um, a bunch of other digital file types which with more details available in our help center. Um, so if you are a self-publisher or you are trying to publish any ebook content, um, you can do that really easily with an issue account. Um, Currently, digital sales is available for all plans, including the free plans that we have. Um, so you can get started super easily with no uh, commission. You can also use any of our templates or any uh, templates that you may have online uh, to create your own original content. So issue is really nice in that it is um, agnostic to where you are sourcing your content from. So you can create original content using Canva, using InDesign, um, even using just Microsoft or uh, Keynote or Pages or anything like that um, to create this content that you might want to sell online. And um, diving a little bit into the other uh, details, which I'll be covering in today's demonstration, um, you can also sell issues as individual content pieces or as uh, subscriptions. And uh, this all as well gives you a lot of opportunities using these statistics from those sales um, as avenues for other advertisement or sponsorships. Um, so uh, that is kind of a quick overview of the issue digital sales. And here we have an example of what these look like. Um, so with digital sales, this is an example from one of our publishers, Rare Magazine. Here you can see um, the have the sales here where you can um, click to purchase. And we also have um, the ability to 
paywall your content. So once you have uploaded any of your content, you can select which pages you want to show or hide as little extra previews um, or that you want to kind of hold off so they are encouraged to make a purchase so they can read the full content. Um, so at this point, I'll be doing the digital sales demonstration covering how to set up um, uploading your publication, setting it up for digital sales, as well as um, how you can sell individual and subscription sales, and where you can find the information about how your sales are performing, as well as um, some other details. Um, I'm going to take a second just to check the Q&A. All right, so let's dive into digital sales. Uh, so today I'm using one of our test accounts. So um, my statistics and final sales numbers might not be super impressive because we aren't very actively selling content from this account, um, but I will show how the user interface looks as well as how you can um, set all of these accounts up. So just to start here on your issue homepage, once you have created your account and logged in, you can go over to the left-hand side here where it says sales um, and click on that. So it will give you kind of your overview and all of the details of um, your kind of login information specifically for your Stripe account. So um, here at Issue, we use Stripe to manage all of your payments. So um, you can update your account once you've created your Issue account to connect it to a Stripe account. Um, more details for how to connect those are available in our Help Center as well. Um, once those digital sales um, accounts have been connected, you will be able to see an overview of all of the subscriptions as well as single issues that you have sold, as well as the sales revenue that you have uh, made so far, as well as um, a few other descriptions on some of your subscription models, as well as your payment settings. So this sales tab here is where you will get started in connecting your Stripe account, as well as where you will be able to see any of the results and um, updates to your sales. Um, so as you can see, I have sold a grand total of one subscription, uh, but we'll go back to the homepage here. And um, I've already uploaded my content to issue. So I'm going to be using content that I have um, already added onto issue.com. But if you are a new user, it's really very easy to upload content. You would just go over to the left here on the upload button and you can upload any files from your device, from Dropbox or from Google Drive and add any details in that you might want to add in. Um, you can then find all of your publications that you have um, uploaded over in the publications tab on the left hand side here. So I'm going to show one of my examples for digital sales. So here we have my desktop version of the uploaded content that I would like to sell today. Um, I've added these kind of uh, page paywall pages, as well as defined where uh, to, how much I want to sell it for. So once I've uploaded the content, I'll go over to the left-hand side and click on sell. This is where you can go into all of your sell settings, specifically for any of your individual pages and to um, manage your full account for each um, publication. So. The first thing you'll do is check off make available for purchase to let your readers buy the publication via issue. And 
from there, you can also set up your price and subscription settings. So for the unit price, this is the price for the individual um, sale of one piece of content. And you can choose currency type uh, using the drop down here. So we have uh, these currency types available currently. Uh, the minimum is 50 cents US dollars um, and our commission fee, as mentioned, is 0%. So we will not be taking any commission from your digital sales um, if you make any sales on issue. The next piece you can also add is including these sales in your subscription, uh, which I'll cover more in depth next as I show the um, subscription settings as well but this is where you would go to check it off and add more information. Um, from the preview pages here at the top, this is where you can preview your content, see uh, which pages the readers went to, will be able to see before they purchase. So this is where you would define which pages you want to add or subtract from the previews. Um, so I definitely recommend adding some of the pages as preview pages, just to encourage readers to kind of check out all of the content or be excited to see more content um, whether it is kind of showing the first couple pages of a spread before hiding it or previewing the first few pages of your ebook content um, that you are uploading as well. So it's very easy to use this. All you have to do is click. Um, you can also hold down the shift key if you want to add multiple pages. Um, I wouldn't make the whole thing free necessarily, um, but this is where you can show the preview pages. It will also tell you what percentage of your publication is part of those previews. Um, lastly, as a kind of promotional side, we have free access codes that can be generated as um, either single use or unlimited um, access codes. So those codes can be generated to then uh, be redeemed by users, which you can use for any additional promotional purposes as you are um, sharing that content out. So once you have made your content available for purchase, we have additional tools that really let you make that content shine over in the share settings on the left hand side as well. So now that I've kind of applied these changes, I'm just going to make sure to click apply changes um, for my published content and then go over into the share settings. And here I can share a publication link where I'll just copy and paste that into a browser. Oops. Sorry, since I uploaded it, it is going to, um, it's going to be under review just to, but when, once it is approved, it'll look like this, where again, you can see those um, pages and this will be a link that brings them straight to those uh, sale pages for the individual content. In addition to this, uh, with our uh, paid plans and above, you can also do um, embedding. So that is where you can embed your content on your website by copying the code and um, pasting it into any web page or blogs. And again, this will also add those, um, the paywall content. So if you want to sell content directly onto your website, you can sell it anywhere um, from those web pages. Uh, we also have full screen sharing. So a full screen sharing link is a direct link that removes all of the distractions from your publication. So instead of showing it on what looks like an issue.com page, the full screen sharing page looks more like this. And again, we'll have those paywall pages as well. Uh, full screen sharing is also available with our paid subscriptions. Last uh, little item to cover is our GIF tool or GIF tool, whichever you prefer. Um, and this is a way that you can add some previews of your content to make any social media posts. Um, sorry, I think I messed something up a little bit. And for that, I apologize. But uh, with these tools, you can um, add some previews and make GIFs that are uh, compatible with social media posts as well um, to really help promote your content in addition to um, being able to sell it on issue. So 
going back to our sales page, um, again, by going to from the home over to sales here and our overview, um, I'm going to cover next the subscription side. So a subscription is um, a combination of um, any issue documents that you might want to package together in um, one subscription. So here I have set up a subscription of a few multi uh, multiple files um, that they can, that they can uh, subscribe to on a quarterly basis. You'll also be able to see any of the statistics of your sales on these pages as well as seeing uh, some of information about how many subscriptions you've sold, the active subscribers, and the number of subscribers that you've um, gained this month. In the settings, you can uh, go a little bit deeper on the details for those subscriptions. So you can make it available for purchase, and you can also define the duration for these subscription bundles, whether it is um, a daily upload, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, or other, where other is um, you're kind of on your own schedule. So as you set your subscriptions up and define the number of issues that are featured in that subscription, once you've uploaded your new publications or your new content, that is where you would go um, and take that content and uh, add it to your subscription by checking off include in subscription. So once it has been clicked and included into the subscription, it'll automatically be added to uh, any of the subscribed content. Here is also where you can add some subscriber savings. So you can define how much you want to add savings or um, special savings, which will then show how much your audience can save if they're um, doing a subscription instead of an individual sale as well as defining what the total price would be, again, in whichever currencies you want. And finally, we have this summation here about um, the duration, the total price, and the subscriber's savings that you can add on. On the link side, you can see kind of the full history of any of your subscriptions that you have created. And lastly, we have subscription links specifically to link to any subscriptions on issue or linking to the latest subscription issue with the option to subscribe. So these links look more like this, which will have the um, specific subscription as well as where you can purchase and the um, audience can add their um, account information, which is how they'll receive those subscriptions, as well as any of their um, payment info. So that is the overview of digital sales, a lot to cover today. So uh, thank you all for your patience. And um, we have, oops, oh goodness. Um, one last poll before we switch over to the Q&A. If anyone is interested in one-on-one -on -one consultations on how Issue can help transform your content into stories, emails, social posts, or even utilizing the digital sales uh, to engage your customers, um, I've launched the poll now. Feel free to answer yes or no if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one consultation for more details about uh, more ways that you can use issue. Um, and this consultation, just to add, would be a free consultation. Okay, um, so now we are at the Q&A portion and um, we'll try to answer as many questions as we can. I know um, the, we're getting in a little late on, the, um, on today's webinar, so we'll be collecting any Q&A uh, questions as well and sending a uh, responses 
following today's um, webinar. And uh, Michelle, if there are any questions that you saw in particular, happy to answer. Yeah, what about um, embedding video into your content? Oh, yep. Uh, so video embeds are very easy. All you have to do is go into your content and here on the left-hand side, we have add links and video. So um, with that, I can select my page and define where I want to add any links. Um, you can add a YouTube video. And you can paste it in here. And we have a few different options on ways that you can add that embedded video content, um, whether you want to play it in the overlay, embed it directly into the publication so it plays in the publication um, directly or to autoplay that video as well. Um, embedding in publications and autoplaying is part of our paid plans. Um, but once you add those video links, um, you can really easily add additional video content or advertising content as well. So it's a great way to add additional ad space. Great. And is there a recommended file size or file size maximum for uploading? Um, so our file sizes, we um, sorry, I don't know the answer to that one offhand. Uh, but I believe it is pretty large file sizes. So you can have up to 5000 pages of content. Um, and we don't price our um, uploads based on the number of pages or anything like that. Um, so you can upload pretty large high resolution um, content onto your pages. I'll uh, find the full answer and make sure to have that included in the FAQ. Wonderful. And did you mention that embedding videos was an extra cost? Uh, yes, yeah. so embedding video is um, a part of our paid plans if you want them to automatically play in the um, issue player, but you can also have them for free as kind of a, a pop up video instead. Is it a, a way to offer a free subscription? Um, part of the, I, I believe that you can add a free, sorry, um, our CS um, team would probably know the answers to this a little bit better, but they were unable to join today. Um, but I believe that you can add a free subscription as part of the um, offer codes. Thanks. And then if a, a reader pushes, per, excuse me, purchases a digital issue or subscription, how do they access the content? Is it on the issue platform or can they download it? Yes, so the content will be available on the issue platform, but you can also add downloads as an option um, in your settings. With the um, issue platform, once they have set up their account um, to make the purchase, so when they're on that purchase screen where they add their credit information, they'll also be adding their email address, which is um, how they will get notified of any new um, content or uploaded content. Um, as you add those. So when you add a new um, subscription to your subscriptions or add a new content piece to your subscriptions, they will receive an email with a uh, link to that new content as well. All right. Um, and then perhaps you could go over this use case. If there is somebody who wants to purchase a subscription for all their employees, is there a way to sell the subscription and allow the employees to um, have their own account to view the content? So would you recommend that they create the subscription and then create the codes for distribution among the employees? Sorry, 
Can you repeat that? <laughs> yeah, sorry. So if you have a company that would like to purchase a subscription of the content for all their employees, is there a way that a person can sell the subscription and then allow the employees to access the content? Yes, you can use the free access codes and um, make the access codes an unlimited uh, time frame to access those content free. And then, let me look, I'm trying to, just so everybody knows, since we don't have our customer success team on the phone, we will be looking at these questions to provide the FAQ. Um, what if the content file is not in magazine format? Can issue handle other PDF sizes? Yes. Um, so issue is compatible with any um, file type or PDF type. Um, I would recommend if you are uploading um, PDFs, and we have more information in our help center, um, as long as the text is still uh, text and not kind of expanded, this is a little bit more technical on the, the print side of things. Um, as long as the text is kind of words, that would be the best, um, my best suggestion, but you can upload any content files um, or PDFs other than magazine. Um, it can be converted to any formats. And then along those lines with text versus image, um, do you recommend the platform for um, image heavy uh, content such as art books? Uh, yes. So I think one thing that we really pride ourselves in um, is some uh, really high resolution and high quality um, image image processing. So uh, we're really um, great for any zines or lookbooks or um, content of that nature as well. So this is one of my favorites, which is why I'm pulling it. Uh, for example, we have some really nice uh, editorial content pieces, which we also have um, a lot of other tools for any social promotions and um, content like that as well. And Steen, I actually have to go see what's coming. Um, can a subscriber view all of my content that I have ever posted or will they just have access to the new content I've added? Uh, they will have access to the new content that you have added. And then the templates for issue magazines, can they be used with Mac pages if you don't have Word? Uh, yes. And then to do, like double click down into it. So from an ad in a magazine, could uh, the ad then link to advertisers catalogs? Yes, so it would just be, um, if you have an ad in a magazine, you can add a link and those links can um, hyperlink out anywhere. So you can hyperlink them to any catalog content or any direct web pages, anywhere you want. Um, one last question I see uh, for embedding publications on your website. Uh, when you embed them on your website, uh, how do you sell from your website? When you embed them, uh, they will have that little price tag as well on the uh, corner of your publication. So anywhere that that content is embedded, you will also see, um, here we go, you'll see this little button here. Um, so when they are interacting with it, if they're on your website directly, they'll be able to um, click on those two sections to unlock to get full access. So that's what's really great about um, the embed tool as well with digital sales is it lets you sell directly on your web pages um, and make it accessible without having to use um, a like third party web page to switch to that transaction process. Um, and I think that is all the time we have today. Um, so again, we'll be collecting all of the questions and um, following up with any uh, questions that we may have missed. Um, but as special thanks for everyone who has joined and stuck around today. Um, 
We have 50% savings on our issue premium annual subscriptions. So this is our most popular plan. Um, the offer code is DS50PREMAN. And that uh, will be good until November 2nd, 2020 at midnight Pacific time. Um, if you are currently an issue user, we will also be sending an email link and uh, please wait for that email link for the offer codes in order to um, use the offer codes. Um, so that is all we have for today. Uh, thank you again um, for joining in today's webinar. Uh, feel free to let us know um, how you thought today's webinar went and if uh, we should do a part two with some more in-depth um, info about digital sales. Um, you can find more information about our webinars at issue.com slash webinars. Uh, so thanks all again for joining today.